all right game changers welcome back to another video by the way we finally hit three thousand subscribers i woke up this morning and saw the number and we're currently sitting at at the time of this video about 3021 subscribers which i am so grateful for thank you guys so much yesterday's video absolutely blew up uh, when you go to search that video up on youtube of course in the browse it is the first video that's recommended it's at the top so obviously that definitely helps with the youtube algorithm and thank you guys so much for those of you guys who watched the video and subscribed i highly appreciate that and we finally hit the 3k mark and now it's on to 4k so thank you guys again so much for that i didn't want to create a separate video just to thank you guys so i wanted to put it at the beginning of this video and by the way the video that we are going to be watching today i'm sure a lot of you guys might have seen but for those of you guys who have not seen it yet prepare to be cringed out i don't even know if that's a phrase but it really is a cringe worthy video you guys are about to watch and obviously i just can't wrap my head around how crazy these people are i mean honestly it just blows my mind but before i do get started showing you guys that clip make sure you guys follow me on twitter so that way you guys are in the know and with everything that i tweet out and also make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and be a part of the game changing community if you haven't done so already what are you waiting for all right so in regards to this video it kind of goes hand in hand a little bit with the video that i posted yesterday because you can see how delusional these people are so basically a handful of members of the Chicago Teachers Union have expressed their opposition to the Chicago public schools plan for schools to return to in-classroom teaching by performing an ensemble of interpretive dances. So the union has proudly shared this video for the world to see, which you guys are about to watch. And basically, a little context as far as the details go, the Teachers Union tweeted out a clip with the message, six of our rank and file dance teachers come together to use their art form as a voice to express their desire to feel safe amidst CPS's teachers' return policy. They stand in solidarity with all educators at risk because no one should have to choose between life and livelihood. Make it make sense. Safety is essential. Keep our students and our teachers safe. It's our livelihood versus our lives. Alright guys, let's just be honest here for a second. That was the most talented group of people that I have ever seen in my life. Right? 
I mean, I can't be wrong here. I can't be the only one saying this thing. I just can't be. All right, Game Changer. So if you could not pick up on the sarcasm there, I don't know what to tell you guys. But honestly, I think that was the very first time as I'm editing this video right now that I have seen the full video. I mean, honestly, I just couldn't sit myself through this when I first laid my eyes on it. But now since I'm editing it, obviously I had to cut it to a certain point until it finally finished. So this was the very first time that I saw the whole thing. But man, it just got even more cringe than I thought possible. How can anyone normal sit through this thing? I mean, I just don't get it. I don't know, man. So basically the teachers union has been embroiled in a battle with the school district over whether it is safe to return to classrooms. And they voted Monday to defy the city's reopening plan. The city planned to reopen, but the union has insisted that teachers want to return to in-person teaching, but claim the school system is not adequately prepared to do so despite spending $100 million toward the effort. Then the Chicago Sun-Times reported that the ongoing disagreement has caused the reopening plan to be delayed this week and the school system told parents to keep their kids home on Wednesday when they had been slated to return to the classroom. Meanwhile, CTU or the Chicago Teachers Union is telling teachers to be prepared to strike. In an email obtained by the Sun-Times, the union wrote Tuesday afternoon, So it's come to this. Short of some late-breaking change, all CTU members will begin working remotely tomorrow, Wednesday, January 27th. And if CPS retaliates against members for exercising their right to a safe workplace, all CTU members will stop working on Thursday and set up picket lines at their schools. And beyond CTU saying that teachers are afraid of returning to classes before being vaccinated for COVID-19, the CTU argues that the plan does not make sense because the vast majority of preschool and special education students who were allowed to return to the classroom two weeks ago are still being kept home by their parents. Now I would argue with exactly that the point they're making. They're preschool and special education students. That's the reason why half of the parents are not having them return to school. I mean, honestly, that's not a very valid argument coming from the CTU, but that's just me. Anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts on this whole interpretive dance and also the whole fiasco with them not returning to the classroom. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you guys liked it enough to want to hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate that. And also thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. And with your support, I'm sure that we will be hitting 4K very, very soon. And if you guys have not done so already, make sure you turn on all notifications by hitting that bell button so that way you guys are notified every single time I upload a video. With that being said, this is GCP signing off. Somebody pick up my beam right there.
Five kills. Holy shit. 